Alright, so I'm finally making the tortillas. And I forgot to grab my one flour, so bear with me for a moment. Okay, forgot to grab the tapioca starch. Okay, so this recipe is literally everywhere online. This is the one I typically use the most, and thankfully my daughter said, yes, I like it. So, this is the one that we are going to use. So, I'm making a double batch of this. So, I will write out the actual um, ingredient list for one down below. So, it actually calls for one and three quarters of a cup flour. But like I said, I'm doubling it just because I want to make a whole bunch of them so I can kind of freeze them. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> See guys, it doesn't take long to go through that flour. Okay. And now I need two quarter cups, so half a cup. I need half a cup of tapioca starch. Yeah, I know that wasn't half a cup. Give me trouble for my measurements. I don't care. Okay. Now I need two teaspoons of salt. No, I need three. Sorry. So I'm doubling. So I need three teaspoons of salt and four teaspoons of baking powder. mixy. Oh, and before I do it again, take my rings off. I still got to clean them from the other time. I keep forgetting to take my rings off. I don't realize they're there. There's no weight to them. I don't feel them. Okay, so there's that. I just like making sure I have it completely mixed up, all the little, you know, bits broken up, all that fun stuff. Okay. Now, I need... So because I'm doubling this, I have 10 tablespoons of shortening. Use whatever type of fat you want. It's just shortening is dairy free. So it's easier. And I need two cups of water. I use that whole two cups. I don't know. So you just want to break this up. Yes, if you don't want to touch it, get a fork, get a thing, do whatever. I personally like playing with my food. Although, if I'm eating, I eat with a fork. I don't know. I'm weird. Okay. So you just want to get this mixed up in there and make it look like but that that pea what is it? Pea mixture, pea crumbles. Can't remember what they call it. A coarse texture. You just want it mixed in there. Okay, and while I'm doing this, and I got you guys on camera, because I'm not about to touch it with my hands looking like this, I suck at rolling out tortillas. They don't look like nice, beautiful, round tortillas when I'm done. Maybe what I will do is I will cut them and make them look a little rounder than I do, maybe. I don't know. Um... Also, with these, I'll explain it when I'm cooking too, but um, 
These cook for about 60 seconds on each side and you want them to be about a quarter of an inch thick. So you don't want them terribly thick because they do puff up because of the baking powder. Um, okay, yeah, so there we go. It's all crumbled up now. Didn't take very long. Oh, I still got a little bit there. Now I'm going to add in one cup of this water. I know I'll need more than that, but I'm just starting off with the one cup. And this water is about, it's not cold, but it's not warm either. It's just right in the middle. And once we have this, you know, I'm jumping ahead of the gun here. So you just want to get this mixed up. Yep, I'm going to need that other cup. I'm not going to add the whole cup. So I don't want this to be too soggy. So add about half of that. That wasn't even half, but... I'd just much rather gradually add liquid in. Because once it's added in, you can't take it out. have my water just right. I'm just going to take this out. Stick that bowl there just for a moment because we got to knead this a little bit just to get it all nice and mixed up until it's a nice smooth ball, dough ball. different bowl. Okay, so we're going to stick this in here. Nice clean bowl. Okay, so I have a muslin cloth here that I have just wetted. We're going to drape it over and this will make more, This the dough will absorb this liquid as well. And we're just going to let this sit for 20 minutes and then we'll be back after I've cleaned everything up and it's been 20 minutes and we will continue on the process so we'll be back okay so I have now I have my cast iron pan heating up and it's been sitting it's almost been sitting for half an hour because I was puttering around doing things and now I'm just going to take a little ball and place it into my tortilla press. Hold on. I have this tortilla press. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. 
This is the one I'm using. I found it's easier if you put parchment paper in there. Press it down. And then I take it. And I roll it out from here. That just makes it easier for me to start the rolling process because my hands aren't exactly, you know, super strong or anything. So you just kind of roll it out. Actually, this one's rolling out quite nicely until it's about that quarter inch thick. I'm just showing you guys one. Okay, that looks about good. I'm just going to let my cast iron pan finish heating up and it will probably be ready by the time I get the camera set up over there. So we'll be right back. Okay, now we're ready. I'm sitting here talking to myself thanks. I thought the camera was on. No, it wasn't. So we're just going to carefully plop that on there and let that go for one minute until it's cooked on the one side, well 60 seconds, sorry. You'll be able to see, I'm just going to leave it going through this. I'm hoping my pan is hot enough, it feels like it's hot enough. But you'll see, oh, I don't know if you can see that or not. I have one little bubble here starting. Another bubble starting. We want to get a little bit more bubbles. Oh, I need a plate. See, I normally roll and put on here. I kind of have a little line going on. I just keep going and going and going and going. Yeah. My pan wasn't quite hot enough yet. I thought it was. Oops. My mistake. Oh, well, it really doesn't matter. We see we got one bubble there. Oh, I have another one forming here. Another one forming there. Okay, we're getting there. I just turned it up. <laughs> May as well. And then when I have all of these done, I will bring you back and show you them all when they're done. Oh, here's another big one starting. Another one there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I'm just going to get under there and flip it. Because I personally don't like mine super cooked all the way through because then they get really tough. But it's a personal preference thing bake them how you want to because this is you know you're the one cooking it right so you get to choose how you want to do them and they will again start to bubble because here's another one I got one over there got one starting there one over here Kind of messing me up because I thought my cast iron was hot enough. What? It was not. So it's kind of messing me up. That's okay. It happens. Okay, yeah, see, now I have a whole bunch of little bubbles. I got one there, 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 there. And flip that over. And I'm going to call this one cooked. So, there you go. There's the done tortilla. And I just, like I said, I just throw it on a plate until they kind of cool down a little bit. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back when I have these all done. Okay, I had to go over to my phone because my battery for my camera died and I only have one battery. 
So I have 14, whoops, sorry, waiting for someone to show up. So I have 14 tortillas, and you can see near the end there, they were looking pretty tortilla normal like. But let me show you down here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. That one doesn't look like a tortilla. It ripped when I was doing it. But I'm just going to set that aside and I'll probably eat that with something. But yeah, so I'm just going to let these cool. Oops. I'm just going to let these cool down a little bit and then I'm going to stick them into a bag. And then I'll break them up from there. So yes, tortillas. Nice, simple, easy, homemade. It just takes some work to get used to doing them. And then you're golden. So I hope you guys like and I'll see you again soon. Bye.